So then you're in New York, you said, right? Vegas is where you start training, though, correct? Uh, I grew up in New York. I was there for about 10 or 11 years. Then I lived in Canada for okay. almost 20 years. Okay. I was primarily based out of Toronto, Canada. And then I lived in uh, I lived in Las Vegas for around 10 years. Okay. So what were you doing in Vegas before wrestling? Originally, I moved to Las Vegas to fight pro. I wanted to fight uh, in the heavyweight division for mixed martial arts. Um, and I had went to uh, Juan Fight Team. So it was Vanille Silva's school that was there. And Sick. then I transitioned over to Syndicate Mixed Martial Arts because they had a larger consistency of heavyweights there. I felt like that gave me a little bit more of a um, a better idea of what areas I needed to improve on. Like beating up welterweights and light heavyweights all the time is it's not the same as, you know what I mean, going with heavyweights. So... Um, but all the while I was doing that, man, all I could think about was pro wrestling. <laughs> like, I felt like I was going against, I felt like I was going against what I really wanted to do. And I had a stronger support system to do combat sports than I did pro wrestling. But eventually I just got to a point where I was like, I need to at least try this. I need to try this and get this out of my system. I can't go to my grave never trying to become a pro wrestler. This is all I'd ever wanted to do since I was a little kid. And the combat sports thing was more of a comfort zone. It wasn't a passion, you know, like I knew something was wrong when I was getting up in the morning for practices every day. And I didn't want to go to practice. I knew something was wrong. And I was like, ah, oh, you know, the first week I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm just tired. Maybe in my, maybe I didn't drink enough water. You know, you try to rationalize it. Like it has to be my diet. I'm just in a bad mood. <laughs> and then like, it's two weeks and it's like, boy, this has been a, a really long, bad mood. <laughs> and then, and then like a month or two months go by and I'm just like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh my God, what do I do? My whole identity is wrapped up in this family or like, and you know, they're telling me you're going to be a world champion, you're going to be a world champion. And then I got to call them and tell them I'm not going to do this anymore. I was like so worried about it at the time. And um, it didn't turn out to be a big of a deal as I thought it would be in my head at that time. You know, we get wrapped up and we think these things that we're doing are a part of our, our, you know, our identity but they're not really, we just make them a part of it. Yeah. I, and it's kind of like how they say, you know, uh, you know, no one can make you change, you know, only you can make yourself change if you want to. And it's, and it's very much that where it's like, I think, you know, especially if it's something that you were doing since you were a child, it was like, well, this is what I've always wanted to do. But then when you get to a certain age, you're like, well, maybe it's just kind of like what I thought I was supposed to do because it's what I saw everyone doing. And maybe I want to do something else, you know? And so, uh, you know, I can I can completely understand that. Well, then, okay, so you make the call. Did you just stop doing MMA completely at that point and just go right, sign up for wrestling school and just start doing it? I trained recreationally, so I stopped going to the pro practices. There would be like two to three pro practices five days a week, and I just could not keep up with doing pro wrestling practice, which was five days a week. I chose to do it five days a week and that at the same time. And then I also kind of like – it would become hard sometimes for like the first six months. I'd almost get sort of like cold feet, like maybe I should take a couple of fights before I get into wrestling. You know, I would, I would start doing that. So I kind of had to like stop watching fighting on TPD and I had to like, I just had to like stop going to the practices to just absolutely make sure that I was committed to one direction. Um, but the one thing that I noticed with pro wrestling practices, when I got started, I never had a problem getting to them on time i'd show up early i'd be there you know extra time i asked the guy who owned the school his name was joe defalco he still has a school uh future stars of wrestling out in vegas i asked him if i can get a key to the building he was bringing a key for i said i want to come in saturdays and sundays he's like kevin nobody's here saturdays and sundays and i said that's okay i promise you i will just let myself in and i will work on the canvas or work on my roles i want to do spots i just I want to condition my body to the canvas because you're nuts, but okay, here's a key. Make sure you lock up. And, but I did. And I was just so into it. And that enthusiasm never wavered. And I knew immediately, like the very first day I walked into a pro wrestling school, I said, Oh, I should have did this a long time ago. 